everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm super excited. And by the way, my name is Caroline from sassytownhouseliving.com. And today I'm so excited because Anne-Marie Sabbath and myself have collaborated and we are going to bring you a weekly webcast series. And this series is going to help you define your success. How are we going to do that? Very easily because Anne-Marie is a renowned author and she authored this book recently. And the title of it is What Self-Made Millionaires Do That Most People Don't, 52 Ways to Create Your Own Success. And Anne-Marie Sabbath is a very successful entrepreneur and she is going to bring us all of the key points of her book and help you to define your own success. We are going to give you weekly tips how to do that. We also have an exciting giveaway, so stay tuned to the end. Make sure that you hear all about the wonderful giveaway. And we are also going to have author interviews. We're going to pull in a lot of very famous authors and share their wisdom and insight with you how they were able to succeed. So let me bring in Anne Marie and I would like for her to introduce herself properly. And just in case you don't know who I am and you haven't subscribed to Sassy Townhouse Living before, I am a business owner. I developed Sassy Townhouse Living about five years ago. And I love bringing success and sharing the best of everything that I know and love with you folks. And this is definitely one of those things. So, Anne Marie, could you please introduce yourself so our listeners know who you are and what they can expect? Thank you, Carol Ann. It's a pleasure to work with you. And hello, listeners. I'm glad to be working with you through this series. My name is Anne Marie Sabbath. 33 years ago, I founded a business consulting firm, and I have assisted more than 200,000 individuals in creating their own success. Most of these individuals have been entrepreneurs. They have represented corporations and they have learned how to climb that slippery ladder of success. In this book, What Self-Made Millionaires Do That Most People Don't, approximately 75% of the individuals are entrepreneurs. They created their own success through a small and eventually a very large business. And so I am looking forward to hearing your feedback, looking forward to giving you what it takes to create your own success. And you'll be very surprised because you have many of these 52 secrets already mastered. Wonderful, Anne-Marie. I'm so excited. So um, as I said before, we're going to have a weekly webcast and we're also going to turn that into a podcast. So if folks can't watch, they can listen. And we will have all that good information for you in the description of this video, as well as in blog post articles that will be featured on Sassy Townhouse Living. So today, Anne Marie wants to share with you some of her tips that she used to create her success roadmap. And I'm going to turn it over to her and let her share the three key points that she goes over in her book. And we're going to talk a little bit about them. So Marie, Anne Marie, can you please give us some insight as to what these tips are? Absolutely. Thank you, Carol Ann. Well, in order to begin creating your own success, it's very simple. It's a three-step process. You've read it. You've heard it. This is a timeless roadmap. And it is three letters. C, B, A. C. In order to create your own success, whatever that means to you, the first thing you have to do is to conceive. What is it that you want that you do not yet have? So think about it. Once you conceive what you want, the next step is to believe it. You must believe it. And we're going to talk more about that in depth. Act as if you already have it. So that's conceive, think about what you want, and know that you want it. Make sure it, you are certain about that particular way, that direction. Believe, 
act as if you already have it once you know. And then you will be two thirds of the way there. The third tip, A, is achieve. By conceiving and believing, the last tip is a matter of putting it in action. So your roadmap will allow you to have the direction of where you want to go once you know where you want to be. Now I have a question for you, Anne-Marie. When you wrote this book, you obviously did a lot of research. And this is not just some gimmicky book that tells you, oh, this is how you become a millionaire. This was well thought out, well studied, based on your years of experience. You interviewed self-made millionaires. You tried to discover like what their keys were that that brought them their success, like what, what things, what their goals were, what they were doing. So could you just talk a little bit about like what you did to unearth these 52 uh, ways? Can you just share with us like what can our readers expect? What readers can expect is to recognize that so many things they're already doing is the road to success. This was a tr an amazing surprise for me. And when people read it, they realize that they are a third of the way there, two thirds of the way there, 90% of the way there. And so what it is, is it is reprioritizing what you do, your actions, your habits on a daily basis. And the way this book came about is I have dealt with so many people in corporate America who live life in reverse. They may earn $40,000 a year. They may earn $500,000 a year. However, they spend money like water. What I realized when meeting the self-made millionaires is they do not jump out in a crowd. They blend in a crowd. They are individuals who have worked so hard and what they people will learn in this book is how to work smart, how to be able to do what it takes to be successful. And it is really through a discipline, the discipline of once again, what do you want? Conceive it. How are you going to get it? Believe it and then work in that direction. These are the principles for creating your own success. So do you recommend that they write their goals? So take someone that, you know, is new to this and has really no concept of which way to begin. What would you say would be the first thing that you would recommend them to do? Would it be to write their goals down on a piece of paper and then believe or start to visualize them? Like, what do you recommend they should do? This is very, very easy. And thank you for asking. Very important. Once you conceive what you want, number one is tell no one. Now, what you do is to your point, you write down exactly what you want. Be as clear as you can be. Put it under your mattress. Mm. Put that piece of paper that's handwritten in your glove compartment, if you have a car. Put your written want in your wallet, put it in the notes of your smartphone. That is conceiving it. Once you write it down, it becomes a reality. It's much more than a thought. Now, subconsciously, you will believe in what you want because it is documented. So conceiving it is one third of the way there. Believing it by documenting it, you can taste it. As though you see a lemon, you can taste that bitterness. The last, the achieve, is acting as if. When you get up in the morning, act as if you have that job that you want. Act as if you have earned that degree. Act as if you have met your mate. Act as if you own that piece of real estate that you've been looking at. It doesn't matter what. Act as if you have financial freedom. Get up and act as if. And I will guarantee you, and this is not an infomercial, I will promise you 
that you will achieve it. The only thing I cannot tell you that you will not know is a matter of when. Setting a deadline is important. However, the universe will give you what you want. It's amazing what hard work will do. Okay, so should they um, say they haven't read your book yet, and and they we hope they all do, right? Um, that's the goal. But say they want to get started on this today. Should they have a defined set of goals, or should they just write globally what they want? So I'll give you an example. Say if someone's end game is to become a self-made millionaire. Should they just be global about it or should they start drilling in to like all of their maybe um, maybe their talents that could possibly turn them, you know, start to turn them into becoming successful in life? What should they do? Should they start out globally or should they really start to dig in? The first step to achieve Self-made millionaire status is to begin with the end in mind. So you have to know it's a roadmap as though you're going on vacation. Where do you want to go? How do you want to achieve self-made millionaire status? That's number one. Begin with the end in mind. Two, where are you now? So where do you want to be? Where are you? And then the third area is what is it going to take for you to get there? This is very introspective. It's essential that you do that. And again, some people will say, I don't know. And I will say to them, it's not the answer. It's the question. So if you don't know, you say, you ask yourself, what will it take for me to get from where I am to where I want to be? The next step to that is, and we will be talking more about this, as we continue in this series, it is essential to surround yourself with people you want to be like. It is essential. That is one of the 52 secrets. So once you conceive, once you believe by documenting it, in order to achieve it, you want to raise your bar, your mental bar, by saying other people have done it, you can do it too. As one of the 30 individuals who I interviewed said, and this is Andy Hidalgo's words, you can do it. You just have to want it. And that's so true. So very true. So in our next webcast, Anne-Marie, we're going to start drilling into things like what does it mean? What does success mean to you as an individual? And that's a question I think that is going to be a complex one because success is different for all of us. Some folks look at being successful as acquiring a lot of money. Some other folks may think it means fame and fortune. Some other folks may think it means just being happy, working at a good job. So everybody's success is different. So could you just give us a little insight as to how someone would be able to define their success. Carolyn, you said it right. Success means different things to different people. It's not necessarily about the money. Money right. is a tool. Money is a form of barter. God. However, success to some people means having more time. Success to other people means spending more quality time with family. Success to other people is earning more working in a certain organization, living in a certain city. Success is what people want. And the question that we're going to help them answer is how to achieve it. And um, in the future, in, in our future webcasts, we're going to go chapter by chapter and dig into a lot of these very uh, important and complex, in a way, ideas and concepts and guide you to understanding things like how do you find your passion? How do you truly start believing in yourself? What does it take to be able to 
start visualizing and set meaningful goals. How do, how do you take control of your life? Maybe you're a person that feels very out of control in their job, in their personal life. So we are going to be able to share all of these tips and insights with you. And I highly recommend that you start to read Anne Marie's book while you're listening to our podcast and web series, because this way you'll have a much better rooted understanding and you'll be able to email Anne Marie any questions that you might have that arise after you read the book. Am I right, Anne Marie? Absolutely. And something I want to add is this is not a get rich quick book mm. at all. This important. is yes, it's very important. The people who are interviewed started from nothing. One woman did not have enough food stamps to feed her baby milk. We are not talking about trust fund babies. I refuse to interview any trust fund babies. We are talking about individuals who do not have the word no in their vocabulary. We have, are talking about individuals who create their own success. That's what they consider luck, how to create their own luck. We're talking about people who have worked for 15 years to be able to be master musicians. We're talking about an individual who at 16 years of age, James Timothy White, became the youngest individual on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange to take a company public. And that was thanks to not listening to his parents mm. who said, you are not going to do that bid. You are not going to work with that company. Well, guess what? He not only bid that piece of business, Within a year, his parents quit their jobs and became part of his team. So what I'm saying is these are real people doing real things, everyday people. These are not people who are individuals. These are people who are on the street who know how to create it by hard work, by belief. And my goal is to assist people in making their it happen. And these stories are not just one-off stories, right, Anne Marie? I mean, they can happen to, like you said, regular folks. Well, like this is do. about exactly these are everyday people. Once again, approximately 75% of self-made millionaires are entrepreneurs. They started with an idea. And you know what? Many of them went bankrupt. So what? They pick themselves up, they brush themselves off, and they did it again until they got it right. So this is what we're talking about. Anybody can create their own success. It's a matter of how. And I tell you, I hear from people all over the world who say, I had no idea how close I am. Because we're not talking about things that are complex. We're talking about things like map out what you want to do. Always be early. People who can manage their time can manage their finances. Mm -hmm. Set priorities. Take time to think. These are the things we're going to talk about. Read more than you watch TV. These are the things that assist individuals in creating their own success and once again, achieving self-made millionaire status. That's brilliant. And I'm so excited for our listeners because they are literally going to get the best of the best when it comes to discovering how to find your roadmap to success. And Anne Marie, can you talk a little bit about um, the giveaway now? Because I think folks are going to be very excited. Thank you. Well, every week we are giving away a copy and certainly I'm happy to sign it and I'm happy to put your name on the inside cover of what self-made millionaires do that most people don't. I would be honored whether you are in the country, out of the country, I would be honored to. And if you prefer a digital copy, I will send that. If you prefer a hard copy or an audible, I'm more than happy to do that, whatever you like. And that will be a way of sharing with individuals that I genuinely want to assist them in making it happen. Now, any time someone has a question, they are more than welcome to email me 
at my website, which is Anne Marie, A-N-N-M-A-R-I-E, at my full name, Anne Marie Sabbath, S-A-B as in boy, A-T-H dot com, Anne Marie Sabbath dot com. I look forward to hearing where you are in the journey until you pick up a book. Tell me, what is it that you want to accomplish? Where are you now? And as you read this book, it's simple. In fact, I will tell you, last week, it became the number one Kindle book in the personal finance section. Yay! And That's thank so you. And it's amazing what hard work does, isn't it? Yes. And so the key is, let me assist you in creating your own success. And by the way, we want men, women, we want everybody to be successful. However, women, if you are out there, we should be ashamed of ourselves. Fewer than 20% of self-made millionaires are women. Let's up that bar. Yes, and to rock that number. You bet. And only 7% of people in the United States, of adults in the United States, are self-made millionaires. Shame. And it is. It is. And you would think that number would be much higher, but... You would think it would be much higher. And only 6 tenths of a percent of individuals in the world are millionaires so the key is this is not rocket science this is what's so amazing i'm going to leave with one tip if i may yes the tip that i would like your listeners your viewers to use to put into practice is be a minimalist throw one thing away that you have not used for a year and that is going to be one of the first steps for creating your own success and could you explain why you believe that is to be true the reason being a minimalist is one of the 52 secrets for creating your own success is the less clutter that you have around you, the clearer you can think, the fewer distractions you will have. And that makes so much sense, too. It really does. And, you know, that's another thing that we are going to be talking about and sharing with our listeners is how to be more self-aware. Because all of this is an essential part in creating your roadmap to success. So be sure because next, every Monday, we are going to upload um, one of our series. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, please spread the word. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And give us a thumbs up as well. Thanks so much for listening today. We look forward to seeing you next Monday. Thank you, Carolyn. Bye now.